Weekly Rewind. All right, we're going to run through some quick news, stuff that's relevant to the fantasy world uh, this year, next year. The Sacramento Bees, uh, the 49ers are zeroing in on Hugh Jackson. Now, allegedly. I've, allegedly. Okay. Allegedly. So hypothetically, if he goes there, do you have some fantasy implications? Because I have some thoughts about that. Uh, it, it, it only confirms my belief in Carlos Hyde for next year. That's, what, that's exactly what I was going to say. I'm a big Hugh Jackson fan. I think Hugh Jackson's great. I don't know uh, why he ended up in the situation he was with Oakland. I think he would have turned that team around. Because it's Oakland. Yeah. yeah it's that, just, that's what they had been doing for a while. Uh, but we saw Hugh Jackson hit with his system of uh, power backing uh, Darren McFadden to superstardom when he was healthy. I mean, Darren McFadden was a beast for those couple years with uh, with Hugh Jackson. Uh, now we're, we're hearing the 49ers are also interviewing Tom Coughlin, which they have to get permission from the New York Giants. Because he retired and didn't get fired? Is that why? <laughs> yes. So, I mean, the Giants own his rights, but they don't want him to coach the team. It's a... Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm a little a surprised Coughlin's jumping right back in. We've also heard the same rumors about him going to Philadelphia, and so that would be in the division. So if I'm, you know, if I'm looking at who I want to let him go to, I'd probably let him go to San Francisco. Uh, you know, I, I like Hugh Jackson. I like Tom Coughlin. The funniest coach news I heard. I didn't sub. I didn't uh, like verify this or anything, but I, someone was mentioning, allegedly, that Philadelphia has sought permission. To interview Andy Reid. This could have been a complete joke, but like I was just laughing at this. Oh, at this okay. As, as yeah, a comment that, that's of, got to be a complete joke. Yeah, there. It yeah. Was, but it's, it was a uh, the, because they're seeking permission for Tom Coughlin situation. Right. Yeah. Ridiculous. So, a couple more bits of news before we get into kind of our, our fact or fiction quarterback segment, the big meat of the show today. Antonio Brown, you saw the hit. Whew. Should be able to play on Sunday. They said. Uh, supposedly got a concussion according to the team. So, he, he got knocked out. There are reports that he was faking. Uh, well, you, I know I don't want to spread a bunch of ridiculous on the show, but there were. I mean, I'm only saying it because Adam Jones came so on he, and said he the winked, reports. He winked on him when he was going off the field. He winked at the guys. I mean, to, to me, all that is, the wink is is uh, gotcha. I'm okay. You screwed up, yeah. and now you're going to no, lose the game. Right. I, Devontae <laughs> Adams, everybody's favorite Devontae Adams. <laughs> Avoided a major knee injury on Sunday against the Redskins. That's the report coming down as of Monday. Um, Julian Edelman, as of Monday, has been cleared to play in the divisional round. This is obviously huge news. Huge. We saw what Brady could do uh, with the receiving core he didn't have in the last two games of the year. We've also got reports that uh, I should have said this with the Antonio Brown news. Big Ben should play. There are reports also that because of the injury, he may be limited in what he can do on the field. I think he'll be fine. He's Big Ben. That was a, a, a quite the performance. I mean, for him to go get carted off, and I saw people talking about he has to have set the record this year for most times being carted off of a field. Yeah, I don't know. You you remember Paul Pierce in the NBA? Uh, that's exactly where I was gonna go. <laughs> except <laughs> except to me, <laughs> where to get wheelchaired out, and then like five minutes later, he ran yeah, back they, out on the they field. They carried him out, but I, but but Big Ben got legitimately smashed. He did by perfect. So, but yes, the the Paul Pierce, oh, that's one of my favorite moments. I know. It, <laughs> this, I'll tell you, this is this next piece of news is one of my favorites. Sincerely, Jeremy Macklin has avoided a tear of the ACL. He was crying on the sideline. It looked bad, bad, bad. He's been through it twice before. So, thank you. You know, the dirty cake. It's nice. The he dirty, survives. The dirty cake survives. High ankle sprain. Probably won't play this week. I would suspect, unless it's in a decoy capacity. But very good news for him. Adam Gase has been hired as the head coach of Miami. Uh, let Mike's Tannehill train begin. I chugga, chugga, I'm, chugga, I'm, chugga. Tr I'm trying very hard to contain myself uh, because there was also the the rumors were swirling around that Joe Philbin was never a, a Ryan Tannehill guy. That he wanted to draft Derek Carr. And he wanted Derek Carr in the first round. The GM said no. And whenever things were uh, things would go bad, the reports are that Philbin was quick to point the finger at Ryan Tannehill and not really uh, offer solutions. But so, like I said, just rumors. Uh, but it, what I what I had watched from Ryan Tannehill was a player who was getting better. And this this year, those numbers were okay this year. 
we all saw that the team was a mess. It it didn't look like he had progressed in the off season. So getting an offensive mind like Adam Gaze into the fold in Miami, I hey uh, Adam Gaze I, it could done turn it around for multiple quarterbacks to this point in his career. Cutler was somebody he got back on track. There's no reason he can't get Tannehill back on track. There's just so many the weapons there. Yeah, I, and I mean, we saw Devontae Parker into the year potential there. Hey, listen. Jonathan Stewart is expected to be back for the divisional game. Those of you playing the playoff challenge with us, there are over 3,200 people now in our group for the playoff wow. challenge. And uh, I am at 315. That's where I'm at. Oh, Have nice. you taken a look and see where nice. you're at? I have not. I, I was one of the fortunate ones to have started the, Chiefs. the Kansas City Chiefs yeah, defense. I, I imagine everyone in the top half played And the Jordan Chiefs. Reed as well, which was very helpful. I did play Reed. So, uh, but I, I also started C.J. Anderson this week. So I, I'm, he was a, a zero play in advance of next week getting some double points. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, so if you're playing with us, like I said, whoever wins that, we'll give them some stuff. It'll be fun. Are we, uh, are we ready to move on? Uh, the last piece of news I think just w- oh, we're okay. talking about. Marvin Lewis will be back as the Bengals head coach. There was a lot of uh, gusto in the bushes and the spies were, were talking about maybe Lewis would get canned after this uh, meltdown by the Bengals, but he will be back. 